let's get right into it. The eighth and final participant in the Gauntlet Championship Tournament. Tournament Creator 60 card. And this Halacti, the Creator of Light, is our deck master. Now, there are many things that came together to make this deck viable. So let's begin. Reactor Slime is an excellent, excellent card. Because it searches Reflex Slime. And Reflex Slime makes Egyptian God Slime, which in turn is three tributes for any one of the God cards. So, very quickly, with just a couple Reflex Slimes, an Egyptian God Slime. You can normal summon your Slifer or your Obelisk and then search the Wing Dragon of Raw with Ancient Chant and get another normal summon and normal summon your second and say maybe you gotta wait a turn to get your third onto the field then you got Halacti that I mean come on it's like four turns that's it's not bad to make a card that says the player that special summons this card wins the duel. It's not very hard to make at all, especially when you consider the rest of the deck that we're going to get into. You've got three copies of Soul Exchange, so you can just use your opponent's monsters to make your Egyptian gods. Easy as that, all the time, all day long. Unless they negate this, which then you've got other plays, even if they do, but if they don't, their monsters are gone. And then you get to this side of the engine with a little bit of draw power. We've got three Pot of Duality, two Extravagance, one Ledger, and one One Day of Peace. This is uh, not a significant amount of draw cards, but it's enough. And when they do show up, it's very useful. I feel like running a third Pot of Extravagance would be too detrimental to the extra deck, because you do not want to lose your Egyptian God Slimes. And yeah, you might lose one, you might even lose two off of these. But most of the time, you'll still keep your Egyptian God Slimes. So it's a pretty fair trade, I would say. Then we get into the spice, the meat of the deck. Terraforming, Metaverse, Triple Field Barrier, Triple Mound of the Bound Creator, and Triple Mystic Mine. Quite possibly two of the strongest field spells in the game. Mystic Mind completely locking down your opponent's monsters. It's amazing. If they don't have spell trap removal, they're just sitting there like a setting duck in the water. <laughs> they're pretty much done. And Mound of the Bound Creator, making level 10 or higher monsters non targetable and non destroyable. And even if you do destroy this card itself, then you get to add one divine monster from your deck to your hand. And also, if one of your level 10 or higher monsters destroys one of your opponent's monsters by battle, they'll take a thousand extra damage. So you can't really play defense against this either, because it'll burn you to death. It's really, really nice. Then we get into probably the spiciest part of the edit right here. An entire full-blown Eldritch engine from three Eldritch, the Golden Lord. Three Cursed Eldwin, three Black Awakening, three Scarlet Sanguine, three Conquestador for popping your opponent's annoying cards, getting those those lockdown cards off the field, things that you just can't battle over. Mostly spells and traps. This is really nice for good removal. Of course, Hokuaro shuts down the graveyard. If they've got something that keeps coming back, you can shut that down real quick. And then Guardian. I mean, yeah. So what if they got a Dragoon? You don't have to target one of their monsters. It says you can make the attack of one face at monster on the field become zero. They have a zero attack Dragoon, what do you care? Bait their negation, attack over Dragoon. Easy peasy. And with these three back row, not only are they great spell trap and they keep the engine going and they search Black Awakening, Eldlix, or uh, Golden Land, they also make perfect tributes for these god cards. See, for when they are tributed, 
you make a god card and then during the end phase you absolutely pop off you set three if not at least two back row and you have a god card and you have stuff like mound of the bound creator eldritch coming to the field black awakening and scarlet so you're always gonna have a 2800 defense somewhere on the field almost guaranteed if not you go ahead and make this bad boy right here the mad golden lord 3800 attack 3500 defense and you contribute a zombie and take control of a monster your opponent controls it's great it's amazing not only you've got the built-in backup negation for any problematic cards that your opponent might be playing you've also got El Dorado Edel and Tato, which I don't really happen to use in any other deck but this because I don't have a big enough Eldritch engine anywhere else but it makes sense in here because it says if you control an Eldritch monster activate one of these effects shuffle three of your banished Eldlicks or spells or traps with different names so Black Awakening, Scarlet Sanguine stuff like that Problematic. Because hmm. we don't have the three different Eldlicks or spells and traps. Is it worth it? This requires Old Lich to be in hand or graveyard. It's not guaranteed. Hmm. We do have the second effect, however. Shuffle three of your banished golden land spells or traps with different names into your deck, and if you do, half your opponent's life points, then you gain life points equal to their life points. So that's not bad, because we do have the three different golden land spells and traps. So we can use its effect, second effect, but not its first effect. And, uh, most of that extra deck here is super poly targets. Starving Goon and Lethal Dose, Starving Goon and Fusion Dragon, Drago Stapelia, Dragon Necro for Zombies, Earth Golem, Attic Nister, Deplexer Chimara, Guard Dragon, Almaduke, Mud Dragon, and Chimera F Mega Fleet Dragon. Then you get to the side deck, and I really put a lot of spell and trap hate in here because I really hate spells and traps that stop my deck from working. So we've got Feather Duster, Triple Lightning Storm, Triple Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Twin Twister, then we got triple super poly and two sphere mode I feel like the main deck is enough monster stoppage that like uh, yeah spell trap removal is going to be necessary at some point against some deck but well that's it boys thanks for watching